What's up, Team Inigas? So this is not the usual weekly vlog. I am going to be documenting my journey potty training my youngest child who is turning three in less than a month and I've done previous potty training videos and I will link them down below I was looking at them earlier and one the first one I did was seven years ago when I started YouTube and then I did another one five years ago or six years ago when I was potty training my third child so when I looked back I pretty much mentioned that I had potty trained them or I was potty training them all around the time that they were two and a half or before they hit two and a half. So I am overdue. So Colby uh, knows how to go on the potty. Like she's used the potty before for number one and two. The only thing is we haven't done it consistently because my other three kids have crazy schedules and we're always in and out of the house, in and out of the car. and. It was just too much to <clears throat> try to do it because I'm always in and out. So I was off today. Today's a Friday, so I figured to attempt the three-day potty training method. And if you want to know about what I did before with my other three, I will link those videos down below. But I'm trying something totally different. Um, I know there's a book on it, and I watched a few videos, and I'm gonna like I'm gonna adjust it to what works for Colby. So I wanted to show you what I got so far. My my um, older two girls made this, or my oldest made this. So she wrote, made a potty chart for Colby. And what we plan to do is put stickers every time she uses the potty. Um, I did the reward chart system with all of my kids and it worked out great. And we did it with stickers and then every time they had a certain amount of stickers they would get like a prize but this time because i'm doing the three-day method um i am going to give her a prize after each day i got this pack of 200 stickers for a dollar so she can pick a sticker and put it every time she goes to the potty and then i've seen people give like treats or rewards so i got um different candies that i would put in a container and like give her every time she goes to the potty and then I picked four different prizes even though it's a three day I figured get an extra one in case I need it um, because I'm not gonna be going anywhere for the next three days so I got her a pair of fuzzy Jojo socks these um, ABC cards she loves Kinder Joy and then this like um, play pack from the dollar section of Target those are like my prizes at the, and I intend to give it at the end of the day like like get her excited like oh you get the prize at the end of the day and you're gonna get a treat after every time you go for a sticker um, she's still sleeping right now so what I plan to do is have her put up the chart with me put her in the toilet I have one of those um, seats that she just put on top of the regular toilet seat I do have to leave the house later today to pick up the kids from school and drop them off to dance. So I didn't buy pull-ups and I don't plan to buy pull-ups, but I might put her in the diaper when we're driving around, even though I don't want to at all. But I've kind of been gearing her up the past couple of days, like telling her we're gonna use the potty, you're a big girl, you're gonna start school or dance, you can't have diapers. And last night when I put her last diaper before bed, I was like, tomorrow no more diapers, right? So we're gonna see how this goes. I've been watching videos and I've seen people either use underwears, um, and then I, I know like the original 3D method is they're nude the first two days and then the second, the third day, oh no, the first two days and then the third day you or you introduce underwear at some point. Um, so I've seen different versions of this. I'm just going to kind of like go with the flow and not be too strict about everything. But I mean the, the strictest part is that I don't want to put diapers on her at all. So I don't plan to put any underwear on her today and um, they say to put her, put them on the toilet like every 10 minutes and then they can space it out every 15, every 20. Don't ask them when they have to go, just put them on the toilet. So this is my first time trying this method. Let's see how it goes. Okay, clean this. You ready to go?
sugar that you want to put. Let's put the potty chart here. Unicorn, yay! Put her in the first box. That one. Yay! Push it. You did it! High five! Yay. Oh, big hug, big high five, and big hug. <laughs> kiss, 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 kiss. I'm so proud of you. And now you're gonna get a treat. Um. Okay, which treat do you want? We have M and M's or what do you call this? Watermelon. Okay, there you go. You did it. We're going to set a timer to go again. Let's try 10 minutes. 10 minutes. You now? We'll flush the toilet first, right? Good job. Put it together. Good job. <gasps> Colby has a big girl nightgown on. And no diaper, right? No diaper, no underwear yet. She's gonna get the underwear after she potty trains, right? Okay, what do you want to eat for breakfast? Um, I want to eat cereal. Okay. Number two potty of the day, yay! What does that mean? What are you gonna get? I need the pies and I need the candy and another candy. Yeah. And let's get good and put it on the toilet. Yay! And on the paper. On the paper? On the potty chart? Yeah. Good job. Wee! How cute is this? Um, We got this like two years ago, year and a half ago, from um, a kid's okay. baby expo, and then they gave it to Colby because she liked it so much. And now she's actually using it for potty. Update is that Colby only went twice so far in the potty and we kind of stretched out the minutes to like they were 10 and 15 and 20 and we've been sitting on the toilet like every 20 minutes or so um and i've just been cleaning all day i feel like she's not drinking enough to pee so i keep giving her water but i did keep watching somebody's video they said juice i don't know does the sugar is have anything to do with the sugar? I would think more water would make them pee more, no? Now, the challenge is I have to pick up the kids from school and then go from there to drop two of them off to dance. It's roughly an hour that we won't be around any potty or toilet. Debating to put diapers on her again, but I don't want her to revert back to going in her diaper. I would rather have the accident or let her go right before we leave, try and right when we come home and have her see if she could hold it, if anything, rather than have the comfort of the DIAPER and then go in that. I think I'm gonna be brave and go for the underwear route because she's been wearing a nightgown all day, so I need to put pants on her and a panty. Okay, so we are on the road. Say hi, Malia. Hi. We just dropped off. Who do we drop off? Emmeline and Dylan to dance. And Colby's in her underwear. You gonna make pee pee at home? Yeah. Good girl. What? You gonna make poo poo? Okay, when we get home, okay? Literally like one minute away from the house and no accidents. Good job, Colby. Colby, yeah. you gonna go to the potty at home? We were gone for like a little over an hour. I was so apprehensive about not putting a diaper on her, but I put underwear. As soon as we came home, she was excited to show Malia. She took off her pants, everything. Went on the potty and peed. She got, put a sticker on her chart and she got a candy. And then I promised her happy meals, so we got a happy meal after school. That's my food. Kobe, give me five. You're doing so good. I'm so proud of you. And then at the end of the day, if she gets a lot of stickers, what are you going to get? Unicorn. Unicorn. Now I'm going to get a shrimp. A shrimp? And, and now I'm going to get a I'm just gonna get a prize. A prize. And he made Boo Boo in the potty. <laughs> 
I'm not gonna show it. <laughs> We're winding down day one. Kobe did great. She had only one little accident and it was because she was playing with Malia, was chasing her, she got distracted and accidentally got, went. But she, then she went to the toilet. She came to me right away, then we went to the toilet. So how many times did you go potty today? Mind you, she woke up late. So she, she slept in and her diaper was wet when she woke up. So it's not as many. How many? Count. One. One, two, three, four, five. Five! And she had one accident, and the crocodile was number two! He made poo-poo. Oh, he made poo-poo. And then what was your surprise of the day? I ate a kinder toy. Yay! I told you you would get a special prize. I'm so proud of you. Okay. Open it now. Yes. Day two tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to put... Um, a diaper on her when she goes to sleep, just in case. So, day two of potty training. She woke up with a dry diaper. I'm so proud of you. I don't know, how many hours did she sleep? Let's see. She slept a long time. She slept over 10 hours. Dry diaper, put her in the toilet. She went in the toilet. Um, I put her in underwear and pants to drive to pick up my other daughter from Nan's. No accident in the car. However, we came home. Colby, she's sitting here about to eat her donut and she had an accident, so, but it's okay. She didn't have the accident when I was worried the most. Stop it! Go ahead, put it on. Yeah. Right here. Thanks. Today's been a rough day. We've been home all day. And Colby has had four accidents today. A little more than yesterday. Double yesterday, but we were home well, she was awake longer today, Not that she... but she did go more, but no number two today. <laughs> day was a bit rough. I didn't really document much, um, but yeah, it's just been challenging being cooped up home all day. We only left twice. We were gone for like 30 minutes, not even 30 minutes, and I put her in underwear and she was fine. And then why the minute that we got home, right before I was about to put her on the potty, she had an accident. But I try my best to be patient. I'm trying my best to be patient and just telling her that it's okay. And sometimes she tries to tell me sorry. And I'm like, it's okay. I just have to keep, like, if she has an accident, then I'm like more diligent about being on top of her. Then I'll shorten the time span because I know Daddy, that- does come out. Yeah, so. Um, I've been doing mostly like 30 minutes. I kind of moved up the increments because I noticed when I was putting her 10, 20 minutes, like I didn't even do 10 minutes today. Oh no, I did a few 10 minute ones when sh she wouldn't go when I thought she would have to go. Um, but for the most part, most of the day has been 30 minute increments where I'll set the timer and take her. And then more times than anything, she doesn't go. So it's been a lot of trips to the toilet, but I have to say the best part is that I've been taking her to the real toilet with the little baby seat on it. So I haven't had to You're deal so with the whole empty out the potty seat thing. She just flushes Comment and washes her hands. Below. Comment down below. Say give us a thumbs up for potty training. <laughs> so now she did so well. I'm gonna give her her prize. Close your eyes. Good job. What is that? Shimmer shine. Shimmer shine. Shimmer shine what? Shimmer shine be um shimmer shine puzzle. What's in there? Pull it back. Grab and go. What does it have? Turn it around. What does it have inside? Stickers. What are these? Um, crayon. And? Book. Yeah! So good job today. Let's open it. Did I say already this morning? She woke up with a dry diaper, so I was really excited about that. And she did have a nap today, and I debated to leave her, and she fell asleep on the couch. I debated to leave her there with nothing, but I was just paranoid because it was on the couch. So I put a diaper on her real quick and it was dry when she woke up. And then so she woke up and I was like getting ready to like take her onto the toilet and she peed <laughs> in her diapers. So I feel like I'm being hard on myself because I feel like a lot of times when she has the accidents like with leaving the house and then that, 
I felt like it was on me because I waited too long, but I feel like if you're doing this, it is, it is very challenging. You really have to dedicate your entire day and, and have it, I mean, I feel like life is, a, my schedule in general is like around, runs or revolves around my kids, so, but this is so different because it's like you really have to be diligent about putting them on the toilet or the potty, you know, at whatever timer you set it at. So you, you space it out the way you feel you know your child best. Like I said, I was doing 30 minute increments, but there were certain occasions where I would move it to 20 or 10 if she didn't go when I thought she had to. But I've been really good about like putting her on every at least 20 to 30 minutes throughout the day. And it's been very trying, like, you know, everything I'm doing, I have to stop to do that because really my ultimate goal is by the end of tomorrow, I really want her to really feel fully comfortable in um, without having a diaper all day and I think tomorrow I'm gonna put the underwear on her and and see how that works but I feel like today was a little bit more challenging than the first day the first day was like oh exciting and like really and I tried to really amp it up still today but my energy level was a little bit low today and I wasn't as like hyped up and excited but of course every time she went I was very excited and I hyped it up for her and we clap and everything and my kids have been good with trying to help me sometimes if I'm in the middle of something I'm like can you bring her to the toilet for a few times that they did that for me and like just now my one daughter brought her to the toilet and she's like oh mom she peed so it was the only time she did it when she went with her siblings but yeah it's just you have to really be on top of it and um, be as patient as you can like I said this is the first time that I'm doing this method so it's new to me and I I've heard from other people that it has worked for them But what I did notice from even videos I watch everybody adjusts it accordingly to like what will work for them And I know everybody starts is at different ages and I feel like Col since Colby's like almost three She is a little more aware I guess than when I did this with my kids when they were two ish Say hi guys Hi guys! And happy Sunday! Happy Sunday! Today we're doing... Today we're doing... Makeup challenge! Makeup challenge? <laughs> Guess who had a dry diaper today? Ooh. Colby had a dry diaper today. When she woke up. Right here. And what are you wearing? She's wearing underwear today. We're doing day three with underwear. Underwear. And I've been setting the timer. I just started setting the timer. Actually, I forgot to set the timer this morning. I just asked her like a couple times. Yeah. Show me your heart. Did you pee? Do you have to go or no? No. Okay, we'll come back again. Let's go. She had no accidents today. Ooh. And she wore underwear all day. Right? No number two today. I was waiting for that. But she did so good. I'm so proud of you. So you get your prize for completing day three of potty training. Close your eyes. Sit down. What's that? Jojo. Jojo what? Jojo socks. You like it? Mm -hmm. I'm so proud of you, baby. Give me a kiss. Jojo on it. Okay, give me a kiss. Easy. <laughs> well, technically, today is day five. We started Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Went back to work on Monday. And Colby, Colby was okay. The kids were off from school and... Okay. Um, my daughter said her diaper was wet because she slept in, but she used the potty the entire day. Did you have any accidents yesterday? No. And she went number two, finally. So, and then today she's been going on the potty. I haven't had to set the timer since Sunday. 
And so she's been wearing underwear since Sunday and only wears diapers when she goes to sleep. And she's doing really well. And I'll ask her, do you have to go? So I would say overall, it has been a success. I'm thinking to film a, like a recap video at the end of this week to kind of let you know how she's doing post the three days. But I didn't get to close this video out yesterday to let you know how she was doing. But it was worth worth the time of being home with her 24 7 and being on her it was hard like constantly bringing her to the toilet and i didn't clean up as many messes as i thought i would luckily enough you guys enjoyed our vlog of documenting our three-day potty training journey for us it was a success and i will link down below once the video is up of like our post experience after this week and letting you know how that goes um and like kind of like further talk about what worked for us and what didn't so be sure to like comment share and subscribe okay what do we say peace out, peace out. <laughs>